Hey friends, we are at the Durham Arts Council. Durham is so rich in the art culture. There are so many artists here, so many opportunities to see the art by local artists. And I am on the second floor of the Durham Arts Council building, which is exactly across the street from the 27 story building I showed you last week, maybe. It's gonna be 27 stories high with condos and apartments and retail and commercial space and a parking lot right across from the Durham Arts Council. The Durham Arts Council has been here since 1984. They celebrated their 25th anniversary in 2009. They have been a staple, encouraging local artists, helping them in their careers and helping them get started. So what we're gonna do, we're starting on the second floor. From the balcony, you've got this open air entry into the second floor of the Arts Council. There is a theater, they've got a dance studio, and we're gonna look at some of the artwork. Right now there is a, a contest, a watercolor contest, where people have displayed their artwork. Also on this floor, you have a tribute to Ella Fountain Pratt, the Legacy Gallery, 1914 to 2008. She is a large reason for all of the artwork and the focus on art here. There's a studio here, plenty of room here, a whole wall of mirrors, beautiful space for dance classes. The Durham Arts Council's Triangle Youth Ballet practices here, as well as other studios. There's a, a Rollins Dance Studio across the way. They have a theater that is a great small group theater. I don't know if it's locked. Let's see. There's somebody in here. So you can see there is a class going on in here. You want to rent a space that has a you know stadium seating and a stage that you can present. This would be a perfect place for that. Now we're gonna go back down to the first floor, see more watercolor art. Go with me down these steps. All the artwork right across the street is the Google building. The Durham ID, that's Innovation District. Durham is a progressive, innovative community, a metropolis actually by now, that is encouraging being creative and inventive and working on many different ways to improve life for people here and around the world. 1906, the Durham Arts Council. This is the oldest building in continuous public service. Original red brick neoclassical revival facade with columned entry and dome replaced with stone modillion cornice and stucco by architects Milburn and Hester for City Hall in 1926 to blend with the Carolina Theater. It became Durham Arts Council in 1978 renovated 1986 to 88 with glass portico by DTW Architects. So here's some more watercolor art and I especially want you to see this art piece by a local artist that's a friend of mine, David Stickle. Isn't he phenomenal? He is able to capture it and looks like a photograph. There are artists that have their displays here that are entered into the competition. In here we have the Durham Art Guild. They supplied the artwork for this part of the museum. It's a juried exhibition. You can see what, oh, that's nice. They make sure that there's a good supply of art and, you know, for the wall and these statues pottery. There are pottery classes here and they at one time they had photography. They don't right now, but there's the young people's performing arts that work downstairs in the theater that's downstairs. This rotates so you can come here and enjoy the artwork and then come back again. Is this a for real old timey or did they model it? learning your shapes, and that's so you can know how to put your Tupperware in the closet. Ah, look at this collection of 
painted eggs, Ukrainian, beautiful artwork, delicate, intricate artwork on these eggs. And this is photography. Now some of the watercolor work looks almost as clear and distinct as this photography. Isn't this an interesting crown? All right, so now, ah, oh, that caught my eye. Watercolor, watercolor. Down here you have the Young People's Performing Arts Theater. Here, this is their concession stand during intermission. And the theater is right there, the entrance to the theater. Over here they have the glazing room. People have worked on their pottery, the glazing room. Right here, lots of projects look like they're in the works right now and you're able to glaze your pottery here. This has been a renovated IBM rehearsal hall. It's been used for an eighth grade dance. During the pandemic, they were able to close down and put some carpet in here and a dance floor before they just had plain concrete. But you can have this as a rehearsal hall, a re small recital, choral recital, even a small orchestra recital. And uh, this is very usable, versatile, and available. You rent the space. It does have an elevator. This is just the tip of the iceberg of what is here in the Durham Arts Council building that offers so much opportunity for local artists. I hope you've enjoyed this visit. If you're interested in real estate around here because Durham is such an awesome place you want to move here, then give me a call. And if you want to see any other features you heard about, you want me to go do a live tour of it, let me know and we can arrange that. Durham has so much to offer. So thank you for joining me on this Facebook Live. This is Dia Irby, your favorite realtor.